Hello, hope you're all keeping well. I've uh, managed to get back to making my travel guitars, which is uh, good news for me. Um, I had to put it on hold for about eight months while we moved house and I kitted out this workshop. But now I'm all back and uh, I've unpacked all the guitar parts and uh, now I'm starting to, to work on them again. So this is the uh, a new shape guitar body that we came up with and um, I've just recently sprayed this, done a bit of airbrushing and I'm actually using a, a new water-based lacquer that uh, is giving me a reasonable reasonable effect. Um, got a bit of orange peel on it but I think that'll all sand and polish out hopefully. Now then, in the process of airbrushing this um, I thought I'd build myself a spray booth which in hindsight was probably not a great idea although it did turn out to be useful in in one way so I thought I would show you the video of that uh, if only to um, avoid you wasting your time anyway I'll see you in a bit well hello there I hope you're keeping well I've been having a rummage around in the workshop and I've found a few bits and pieces I found an old louvre door from a cupboard a cooker hood uh, extractor fan and some casters are you thinking what i'm thinking you are you read the title let's get to sketch up so i want to build a spray booth for some travel guitars that i'm making and they they're not too big they're quite small so i don't need a really big spray booth for the neck as long as it's long enough for the uh, the guitar body or the neck to go in that's fine um, and i want it portable so i've got the casters uh, this isn't spraying anything that's inflammable this is just spraying water-based paints and uh, lacquers so i'm hoping that the cooker hood fan will do the job so i've done a design in sketchup uh, of the spray booth and this is it. Uh, it the idea is a mobile little unit there it's 80 centimeters high on the interior here 40 centimeters wide and 40 centimeters deep and you can see I've got the uh, louver doors along the back and along the bottom and if I just whip round and move this uh, move the lady out the way and if I just hide the back plate let's do that right you will see there's a space behind the louver doors where the fan will suck the air out and then vent out the back of the unit that's the theory anyway so i think what i'm going to have to do is to start making this thing and then just see how it goes i've cut out all of the components um, this is the louver doors. I've had to make the louver doors slightly wider and I've stuck some uh, OSB on the sides just to do that. So there's the base, there's the back and I've got the sides. I've been using some OSB um, off cuts that I had left over from another project. Uh, so now it's a question of screwing the case together to start off with and then I'll see if I can fit the fan and then the louver doors. Right, let's get started. The fan extract is going to be out of the back of the box so I'm just going to mark where that extract pipe is going to go. I'm going to pin and glue a couple of these pieces of wood onto the back and then I'll use those to attach the sides.
Okay, well I've assembled the unit and I've fitted the fan in the top there. I've actually put a little bit of a barrier just above the fan so it doesn't suck directly from underneath but hopefully it draws air from inside the unit. That's the idea and so uh, turn it up the right way. So the idea is we spray into there and the air is sucked through the bottom and the back. That's the theory. Okay, so here we have it. Uh, the casters. Nicely sealed in with a vent at the back. I've got to put a pipe on the back. But um, I'll go switch it on, see what happens. Here we go. Well, I can certainly feel suction down here. I'm not sure about the top, but uh, well, I'll have to try and see how it goes. Okay, so it's about quarter past six in the evening, so I suppose I've spent probably about five hours making this beast, I suppose. Is it, was it worth it? I don't know. As with all my projects, there's an element of, uh, well, it sort of works and it sort of doesn't. Um, I think it's going to be great for spraying, actually, but probably outside. Um, it, without a bigger fan, it's not going to have enough suction to really pull everything out. But it's, it just keeps all the, the paint in a general area instead of going everywhere. Um, so on that front, it was successful and um, I enjoyed doing it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you like this sort of content please hit subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Before you go I just wanted to give you an update on the spray booth project. Well I've tried it. It's okay for airbrushing. I've done some airbrushing on this guitar but it's no good for spraying it's just too small. But what I have found is really good for drying. So what I've done I've put a switch on the side, I've got a pipe venting out for the back there, put it on and there we have it. Drying cupboard, so spray booth stroke drying cupboard. Yes, well that was my attempt at making a spray booth. Uh, as you can imagine, it was never going to work. Much too small and no suction from the uh, cooker hood fan. So anyway, turned out to be a great drying unit, which is fine for me. So now all I have to do is to shave off some of the lacquer that's gone into the uh, recesses here so that I can fit the parts together. And then hopefully I can start to assemble this guitar which um, I think I'll uh, make another video of. So um, look forward to seeing you on the next time. Thank you very much.